going to introduce you to a serial entrepreneur who has a really great story to tell. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Gartner. I'm the founder of Global Cancer Diagnostics. This is the 11th company I've started. This is probably the most exciting thing I've done in my entire career. And I'm going to go to the next slide. And I apologize for starting with a slide that should be all done in black. That's what I've been told anyway. This is the five-year survival rate of people diagnosed with lung cancer. Those little tiny things on the far right-hand side are the survival rates for people who are diagnosed in stage three and four. If you're diagnosed in stage one, there's a nearly 80% chance that you will live for at least five years. Otherwise, in stage four, you will likely be dead before the five years is up. Um, a rather disturbing story is that a very, very good friend of mine five months ago was diagnosed with lung cancer. And uh, he said the doctor should have just handed him a death certificate at the same time because he said he has four months to live. So let's get past the tough statistics like that. The, the interesting thing about lung cancer to me is it gets less attention than breast cancer does. And yet, um, if you take all five of the next cancers and you total up the number of people that die, lung cancer still exceeds that number. The interesting thing is, is that it's mostly preventable. 90% of all of the lung cancer patients are smokers or former smokers. Very, very few of them are caused from environmental problems. In the US alone, there's still 75 million smokers. We have no idea how many former smokers there are. We really don't. 18 million people would benefit from screening using our test. The difference between the two numbers is, is that uh, we only test people over the age of 50. Globally, as you can see, there's a huge number of smokers, two billion. So of course, we would be able to help a lot more people than that. The lung cancer test will be offered as a screening product and as soon as it is um, FDA approved, we will go for a diagnostic screening test listing. We have a patent pending on the combination of biomarkers and one for the algorithm that's used. We have our own CLIA laboratory, and we have completed all of the clinical studies necessary to introduce the test August 1st as a laboratory developed test. So we are not a startup in that sense. We will then hire an outside agency because we think they'd do a better job to handle our FDA clearance work for us. Um, we are very, very proud of the accuracy and what we're able to contribute to the science of early diagnosis of lung cancer. The thing that doctors refer to the most in general is the accuracy, or what's also called the ROC accuracy. And that's between 97 and 98 percent, depending on whether you're a man or a woman. Those are incredible numbers. There's the actual ROC chart over there for you, or graph, I should say. Um, just as a comparison, x-rays have about a 55 or 60 percent accuracy. And they're detecting it in stage three or four. The test is available, is going to be made available August 1st in 23 states that allow a diagnostic without a prescription. We will sell direct to consumer at a prepaid price of $99. This is a very, very different marketing plan than most companies use. Um, once we have introduced the test in those 23 states, 
we'll begin moving into the states that require prescription by educating doctors at different conferences and things about the availability of the test. Um, the, we've uh, had discussions and have gotten contracts with blood draw services across the United States, companies that do nothing but draw blood. And didn't even know there was one until a few years ago. Our laboratory will perform the analysis, will generate the report, and send it to the patient directly or to the physician if the patient has used the uh, prescribing physician. The marketing program is, as I said, focused on these 23 states in the beginning. It's interesting when you look at this list of 23 states and you rank them by the highest percentage of smokers in the state, I would have never guessed that Iowa would be the top state for percentage of smokers. <clears throat> I'm here today not to brag about the work that we've accomplished, but to ask for money. So let's get that out on the table. We're looking for a million and a half dollars to um, jumpstart our marketing program, and it would be used over the next year. Uh, and by the end of that first year, we expect to be easily cash flow positive. You can see what the other numbers look like. Um, I know that 20, is that 24 million? Is, is a very big sounding number, but it is less than one tenth of 1% of the market. So I hope you can understand that. Um, our capital raise is going to be done with convertible debentures, very simple, that carry warrants. And you can find out about these uh, debentures from either myself or Don Robertson at our office. You can email us, call us, and we can send you the materials. Or you can come to our table at the back here, and we'll give you a single sheet that will tell you about the company and the test. And then uh, we'll see if you're interested in investing. Thank you very much. <laughs>